Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. So today's video is going to be a tutorial on this wig that was sent to me from Eva Wigs. I have all of their information, all of the links and the promo codes down below in the description box. So don't forget to check down below for more information. So when I opened up my box, I received my wig, of course. I received a comb, an elastic band, I received bobby pins, a wig cap, and also a user manual. Yes, this wig did come with a user manual and basically it's just information about the hair that you were sent, how to take care of it, how to care for it, and what to avoid. It also does have a return form, so if you are not satisfied with your hair, you are able to return it. So the wig that was sent to me is 22 inches. It is wavy and curly, 180% density, and it was made using a glueless wig cap. And this is how the wig looks when you first take it out of the package. Okay, so let's jump right into the hair tutorial. The first thing that I'm going to do is grab some hot water, put it in my glass bowl. And the first thing that I will be doing is dyeing this hair from its natural hair color to a jet black color. So I am going to grab my Adore jet black hair color and I'm just going to do the water method as you all know how to do. I'm just going to put that into the water and then allow the hair to submerge completely in this solution and allow the color to basically attract to the hair and dye it. The next thing that I am going to do is basically repeat those steps, but this time I'm going to put the water into the glass bowl and grab a brown hair color um, dye and put it into the water. And basically this time I am just going to tint the lace color just to darken it a little bit because it was way too light for my complexion. I am not going to submerge the entire wig into the solution. I'm just going to allow the lace portion of it or the lace frontal portion of this wig to be submerged in that darker brown. Okay, so next I am going to grab my BW powdered bleach, my African violet, which is a purple additive, and then my 20 volume developer. And then I'm going to mix it until I get the perfect consistency. And then I am going to bleach the knots on this wig. Okay, so now I want to thin out the hairline a little bit. Instead of plucking the actual knots of this hair, I am not going close to the hairline. I am just taking my tweezer and pulling hairs from each section of hair, if that makes sense. So instead of going close to where the knot is and physically pulling each knot individually, I'm not doing that because that causes a lot of balding and there is a huge chance for error when you do it that way. So I'm just thinning it out by just shearing out some of that hair, hair with the um, tweezer, if that makes any sense. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I will be right back. So this is the shed hair that came off of the wig after thinning out the hairline. As you can see, the hair is still very, very full and very beautiful. I love that style too. I will probably try something like that in the future. But this is the results from um, just thinning out that hairline instead of plucking the individual knots like I used to do. So this is how the hair texture is looking after air drying with a leave-in conditioner and it's not very defined at all. So I am going to basically add some product in it to get those curls to pop. I'm going to grab some water. I'm going to be using my Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating Curling Gel. I will be 
using like some glosser for the hair as well. So I'm going to grab my IC hair polisher just to give it a really nice wet look and shine to it. And with the baby hairs, I'll be using the Nairobi Rapid Shine Foaming Lotion. And I will be using that a little bit through the hair as well as I'm styling. And I also will be using my Edge Control by Design Essentials to define the baby hairs without them looking so hard. I will be using my Denman brush just to define the curls. And then I have a detangling comb too that I will be using to detangle each section as I go along. <laughs> okay, so let's jump right into styling this hair. For the baby hairs, I am just taking a razor blade and I am just, you know, creating shorter hairs. I'm going to grab my Nairobi foaming lotion and just see where I want the baby hairs to go. Please excuse Keisha's forehead. I don't know why her head is so big today, but Keisha, honey, maybe I should have pulled the wig down a little bit more. So we're just going to apply that mousse first just to give us a little outline of where the baby hairs are. And then I'm going to grab that design essentials edge control and further define the baby hairs. Okay, now that I am satisfied with where the baby hairs are, I am going to grab Keisha's headscarf and I am going to put it on her for a few minutes to allow the baby hairs to set. It is much easier if you're doing this on your head, but I did want to show you guys how I do it on the mannequin head. And while the baby hairs are setting, I'm just going to grab my diffuser and just diffuse the hair so that it can seem fuller so that when it dries, it can be like a really pretty full looking curly hairstyle. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut that extra lace off of the lace frontal portion of this wig and then we're all done. Because this wig is a glueless lace cap construction, you do not have to adhere this wig down with anything. It fits pretty tight and snug on your head and it does come with an elastic band for you to sew onto the wig if you need more security. So I am not going to use any tape, glue, gel, nothing of that nature to secure this wig down. And here is the finished product. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. Don't forget to check down below in the description box for more information, the promo codes, and the direct links. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.
Bezosay. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezosay. Ay, ay, ay.